In this week's weekly drive, we're going to be driving the Kenworth Needle Nose while hauling a low bed trailer. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're driving the Kenworth Needle Nose while hauling a low bed trailer and we've got a digger on the back there as you can see here, digger 1000, 15 tons now this trailer here is not your standard trailer it, as you can see it's a low bed trailer, very very low and um, that it's, it's called, now it's hard for me to actually tell you exactly what it's called because it's uh, says the Entine, en, Entine trailer, I think it is, Et, Etnan, uh, I can't see it, <laughs> for some reason, it's gone and stuffed up there, for some reason, oh, there we go, now I can see it, uh, Et, Etnine, Etnire, is it's what it's called, Etnire, there we go, so that is the actual trailer that we've got today, uh, let's get on the road, shall we? Now, today we have the uh, 691 uh, Detroit diesel engine, and we've got an 18-speed Eaton Fuller transmission. Now, we are off to, we are in Carlsbad, and we are going down, all the way down here, to Punta Prita. We're in Mexico, anyway. So, yeah, we're going to Mexico. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. We're not bringing any, any Mexicans back though, so there we go, should be good. Right, now, let's jump out of there, and let's get on the road, shall we? Make sure the lights are on, there we go, and away we go. So this week, we have a lot to talk about this week, because SCS has had a big update for uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 so uh, that is a heap, there's a heap to actually talk about in there so let me just get out of here first and I'll put on that, there we go GPS and uh, this is, first of all we'll talk about this truck because this truck here is the actual winner of the weekly drive and so now this goes, it's automatically entered into the best of weekly drive, which I think we're about four weeks away. So we've got, I think, roughly about that. So we've got a few uh, few weeks to go yet to for more trucks to enter in there. So hopefully we'll get some really good trucks for the weekly drive, which will be really good. Now, um, the... Piss off, mate. Bloody AI. Now the actual, uh, can we get, we could have got onto the highway there, why didn't we go on there, I don't know. Uh, so the other trucks that were in this week's uh, reviews that we were taking a look at was the International 9800 Eagle, which got a large response there of 42, and sorry the Kenworth Needle Nose had 56 uh, upon recording of this video. Then we had the Maz 6440, and that had 22. So. Uh, a lot of sort of comments towards the Maz there, the 6440. Uh, that was actually, a few people weren't too happy with that mod. Uh, said that it looked as ugly as a hat full of uh, assholes. Uh, I think one of the comments was there, so. Um, but really, I didn't mind it. I thought it was okay for a mod, and I thought uh, this is the first time that I'd actually seen it. It was version 2. We just went through a red light. Ah, oh, shit. Um, it was version 2, but um, I'd never actually seen that one before, so... But it was still, I quite liked it, so... But never mind, there was a few problems with it that caused it a bit of... Uh, probably people didn't like by the looks of it, so that's why it was... Uh, people sort of didn't like it. Sorry, coppers. take this wide because yeah that's all right we got through that trailer and the chassis on this is actually quite long and it is the trailer itself is long so 
Uh, but other than that, yeah, those were the trucks, guys. And yeah, we had, uh, I thought it was a good run this week. Now, I was told to rev these engines out a lot higher than what I do. I thought higher than 2,000 was a bit high, but no, it's not. Detroit diesels can take it, I'm told. And that is, yeah, it's having a bit of trouble getting up to the two grand, but anyway. There we go, 21 will do, doesn't matter, round that mark. Now, uh, let's get into the news, the SES news. Now, the biggest news for this week, well, that'd have to be the ETS2 Heavy Cargo Pack is here. Now, that is normally $4.99, but at the moment, it is on special, 10% for $4.49 US. So, if you haven't got it and you missed out on our uh, giveaway that we had, then there you go, it's $4.49 US. So uh, make sure you jump in there and grab it. I better slow that down. Gotta watch the speed. Cruise, there we go. Just sit on that comfortably. So uh, let's see, what do we get in this pack? Now, if you haven't actually seen the live stream that we did, and I also did another video as well, uh, doing a, it's a bit of a shorter video showing you more detail, you know. Um, then uh, you can actually check those out if you like. But if you missed that, uh, some of the bits and pieces that are in there, we've got uh, new cargos, there's new skins, there's new chassis that you can actually get. Okay, so some of those are free and some of those are not free. So you just have to watch for which one is which. But in the actual paid content that you get for, from SCS, the DLC, you get the new cargos. Now, new cargos that you get, there is Asphalt Miller, there's Industrial Cable Reel, there is a uh, Concrete Beams, a Crawl Dozer, Locomotive, which I haven't seen the Locomotive yet, uh, Metal Centering, and there is a Mobile Crane and a Transformer. So there's a fair few bits and pieces in there. So with those models all together, I think that is definitely, definitely worth it uh, with just that alone. So if you haven't had a look at it, guys, check it out. It's definitely worth it. Uh, so new high-tech trailers. The trailers that's in this, I don't know if you've seen this, but if you haven't seen it, head over to the blog and check out the trailers. Man, they are cool. When you're actually turning the corner, it the fifth wheel acts as the steering wheel for the rear of the trailer. So when you're turning a tight corner, the trailer will turn as well. And that allows you to get around these tight corners a lot easier. We're going across the border now, so they're searching for Mexicans. Man, that's a big speed bump. We smashed something there. What was that? The trailer. Damn, I hope not. Was it? No, it wasn't. It's all good. Right. Okay, so... Um, yeah, the trailers actually turn really, really cool around there. Now, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got used to it, it's actually really good. Is that trailer? No, nah, trailer didn't hit. Okay, I thought the trailer was going to hit again. Uh, now, the two trailers that you that you get in there, so the high-tech trailers, you get an extendable flatbed trailer, which is really cool looking. And then you get the semi-low bed with drop deck trailer. So that's something as well. Both have uh, steering axles. Uh, for safer navigation around corners, which is what ACS has said. So, um, this I this is the only thing I hate about coming across the border here is the speed limit. It sucks. 22, uh, 20, 20 uh, miles per hour through here. It sucks. Uh, now, the new chassis that you actually... Well, you, it's with the new update that come. So, you don't have to actually own the new DLC to use the new chassis. But there's new chassis for uh, three new trucks. So three of the trucks. So that is the Mercedes, the Volvo, the Mercedes new Actros, 
the Volvo FH 2012 and then there's the Scania R and S Streamline that you can get the 8x4 chassis that is part of the new update and you don't actually have to own the new DLC to have that but it's there that's part of the thing that they gave you for free and also with the new update as well is the truck analysis screen so guy what the okay so I'm gonna have to stop for you then I guess uh, so there's a truck analysis screen and what that does is that actually gives you information on uh, what that truck's gonna do whether it's gonna be able to pull uh, heavy loads or whether it's just gonna be like you know a standard truck or, or whatever uh, really these loads you don't need to have this chassis on there to pull it but uh, it, they do advise SCS do advise that you do need to have that chassis will make your life a lot easier pulling it so it's up to you whether you use it or not but the um, analysis you can turn the analysis screen off as well by clicking the up arrow and it disappears so it's entirely up to you whether you use it or not um, really I, I I did use it and I thought well you know I'm gonna try it without and I tried it and I used the truck I got around no problem it's just a bit of you got to think a bit differently when you're using a standard truck so just your normal 6x4 um, works per, yeah it works fine but you need to think differently uh, let's see so that's the actual yeah design to help you with and, and guide you to make the truck that will uh, easily pull heavier loads so that's the major um, update for SES there so that that's actually really cool now I've had a lot of people ask me senior when is the update for American Truck Simulator coming out so when's the trailers for that coming out well I don't ex I don't know the exact answer to that guys but if you have a look at the actual history of SES when they release their um, packs SC uh, ETS 2 is always first okay so that's that's always first always has been and then American Truck Simulator generally comes around a week later so I mean this came on a was it a Sunday or a Monday or something like that so uh, generally I would take a guesstimate and this is sheerly just a guess guys that it would be roughly about a week so be looking at about Tuesday maybe Monday Tuesday Sunday Monday Tuesday um, this week you know sort of coming along this week that's coming so from, that's like about another four days away so just be patient I'm sure it won't be too far away guys and some of the pictures that we've seen for that are actually quite good and if you haven't seen those uh, check out our last weekly drive that we did we did show a few uh, videos uh, sorry a few photos of that And we're in the clear now we're on to we can do 34 along here so we're just about to get onto the highway which will make it a lot easier I hate that first section <laughs> getting across the border is always a pain in the bum let's take a photo here before I forget we need to take a photo do 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 oh look that beach isn't that beach nice Not bad. Sun's in the wrong direction, but it's not bad. There we go. And I'm going to take one from around this side because the sun is on that side a little bit more. And I use these for thumbnails if you guys haven't seen, so... Now, let's see, uh, about there, and let's go field of view. Always doing these field of view ones because they tend to make the truck look more, I don't know, looks better, I reckon. Makes the, the truck look enormous. Enormous. <laughs> I'm going to spin around here and take one up in the air. 
And there we go. Look at that ocean in the distance there. And we'll take that blur out. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Out we go. And there we go. Now, some of the other things I wanted to talk about this week, guys, is um, if you didn't uh, if you didn't see, we actually had a 12-hour live stream. If you missed it, oh, well, that's a shame. We had a whole heap of... Uh, giveaways there we basically we gave away a heap of stuff uh, a heap of cargo packs we gave away uh, we gave away a copy of Euro Truck Simulator 2 some Scandinavia DLC um, wow there was there was heaps of stuff um, Geosha Shakay we gave away that uh, we had a uh, we had Nick came in from um, Cloudway Studios and uh, he, he made a, a little surprise guest appearance there which was really cool thank you very much for that nick um he came in and yeah gave us a little sneak peek there there's an uh said that there is an update coming very very soon uh he said that there will be some drastic changes to the uh the garage an overhaul on the garage so that's going to be really interesting to see so, uh, and the, he did say that it will be very soon, that update. So, can't wait to see that. That is really, really cool. Uh, and also, while we're talking about, uh, while we're talking about, uh, oh no, sorry. Let's go. We'll talk about um, the Brisbane Truck Show is uh, coming up very soon in about two weeks' time. On the 27th of um, 27th of May, uh, we will be there, and we'll be running around all day. So if you'd like to come and visit us while we're there, if you'd like to come and say hello to me, uh, Junior will be coming as well, uh, whether he likes it or not. He's coming, <laughs> and um, you can have a chat with both of us there if you want. If you want to hang out or whatever, we'll be doing that. We'll also be doing a live stream. So what we're going to do on that day, it's normally uh, Trucking Good Saturday, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a later than normal stream. So normally we would stream around 8.45 or 9 o'clock, sorry, we would start streaming. We're going to start streaming at 11 o'clock that day, so two hours later than what we normally do. So uh, we're just going to be running around, checking out some things, saying hello to people, uh, see if we can get, you know, some conversation with a, a few people here and there, uh, which will be really, really cool. Uh, may even do some other streams throughout the day as well, so you can uh, have a look at what we're actually doing. Man, this is Moda doing 34 along here. It really is. So, uh, we're going to be... But while we're there, um, what if you are in Brisbane that day, you can come and say hello to us. Uh, we'll be meeting at, uh, I'll be doing a video and saying exactly where we're going to be meeting so you can actually plan um, where we will be and also on Twitter and Facebook we'll be letting you know information as well throughout the day so exactly where we are and you can come and say hello, that sort of thing so ah, uh, screw you coppers. Uh, so if you are wanting to meet up with us throughout the day then keep, keep your phone handy with Twitter and we, you'll be getting updates that way as well. So, um, also, if you want me to come and if you want me to sign something as well, so uh, you've got I don't know a hat or anything like that, then um, you know, uh, bring that along as well, and I'll, I'll sign that for you as well. I don't mind a hat or a t-shirt or whatever. Yeah, bring that along, and we'll uh, I'll sign that for you. It's no problem at all. Right, come on, we've got to get out of this area here. It's driving me nuts already. And that looks like we've got a turn up here, which is interesting. We go behind this truck. There we go. 
Uh, now, uh, Members Convoy is this weekend, guys. So if you are a member of the Members Convoy, then the information will be posted very soon. So I'll put that information up. I'll really try hard to put it up after I do this. And hopefully um, I will do that. But if I haven't, it'll be coming very soon. We are definitely having one. And it will be American Truck Simulator. So if you're a member and you'd like to join us, then just head over to the Junior Senior Gaming Forum and grab all the information. As normal, you guys that know the drill. If you'd like to become a member of the Junior Senior Gaming Members Convoy Group, now remember guys, the rules are very strict and they're very different there to our normal convoys that we have. So be mindful. Uh, the reason we have those, we try and attract older, older, more mature group. But uh, that is fine if you're a young guy and you can behave, then that's perfectly fine. We don't mind as well. The main thing is, is that you got to behave, guys. We don't want people being dicks. You'll be ejected from the convoy group if that is the case. And um, yeah, that's then we'll be then that'll be it. Be no more. You won't be able to see any more members convoy groups. So. Listen to that engine. So yeah, if you would like to be a part of the members convoy, guys, then all you have to do is go to the forum, the Junior Senior Gaming Forum. So it's the should be in the description, I think. But uh, it's forum f o r u m dot j n r s n r dot net dot au. You register there and go up to the very top of the page and click apply for convoy or convoy application, I think it is. And we'll be having a look at those uh, over the uh, over the weekend, in the next couple of days. So if you want to get in there and and get a application, then now's the time to do it, guys. All oh, these bends are pretty tricky through Mexico here. The mods we've got installed today, guys, is the uh, that trailer I said before, the ETN YRE Entire or Entire, yeah, whatever it is, Entire, Etnire, I think it is. Uh, that's the tra the flat um, low boy trailer pack that we've got there. Uh, that link will be in the description for all mods if you'd like to have a look at them. Uh, we've got. We've got Viva Mexico, we've got Canada Dream, and Coast to Coast. So there's a few uh, mods there for you. There has been a, a large selection of trailers that have come out. So I've grabbed a few, and we're going to take a look at those during the... Uh, we're going to take a look at those during the week as well. See if I, Well, I'll take a look at a couple of them. See if we can do drives with them. What is the go with these windy, slow roads? We want to get there eventually, not next week. It's the only thing I don't like about uh, Viva Mexico. Coming into Mexico for ages, the highway speed is so, so low. Such a pain. I gotta, I gotta take the, gotta get the load there on time. I don't have time to muck around. All right, here's the one. We're on the one. But the scenery on this map is really nice. I love it. And all the trailers seem to work really well with this. There is always a trailer going towards New Mexico. I've noticed that uh, coast to coast does have some trailers don't always go to coast to coast. You know, on the coast to coast map, it does take a little bit for them to work in. I don't know why. It just seems to be, you know, the way it happens. Man, 
man, this is this is painful for me driving so slow. Um, yeah, we gave away a fair few of those um, the uh, heavy cargo packs on our 12-hour stream, and, and uh, there is a there's one person uh, that we haven't actually been able to get in touch with, which we'll try again tomorrow during the stream, uh, and if we hoping that you do get in touch with us because I tell you what we haven't got all day mate <laughs> but anyway it's interesting tacos got some tacos um, but everyone else has gotten their prize already which is really cool uh, next time we're gonna have to do it a little bit differently so I think what we'll do is we'll have my uh, steam open and um, you'll be able to, we'll try and message you straight away because we did have a lot of problem with people uh, getting back to us straight away. Um, but I, you know, I suppose different time zones and that made it a bit harder. So we did have to have to wait like 24 hours to give that stuff away, which was not what we wanted. But anyway, we did, as soon as we had the, as soon as we um, got that friend request back, we were able to uh, get those gifts out to you. So we did it as fast as we possibly could. And I hope you're all in, all those people that did win. We had about, was it 12 or 13 competitions? Uh, all those people that did win, uh, congratulations. And uh, we hope you're enjoying all your, all your giveaway, the giveaways. Get a lot, getting a lot of people asking for when we're gonna have the next 12 hour stream. Uh, don't know be honest we don't know when we're going to do the next one but a lot of people did watch it so it's very interesting we are over 10,000 guys so our little community of 10,000 people is growing every day which is good but uh, we've hit the 10,000 mark and that's 10,000 subscribers on YouTube screw you cops the speed limit's too slow here anyway and um, yeah, it's it's really good. On that day, we we did get so many people coming in and, and watching our twelve-hour stream. I was uh, very surprised at how many people turned up. So um, that was really good, guys. Very impressed. So I hope everyone had a lot of fun there. We played uh, some Grand Theft Auto. We played uh, some American Truck Simulator. We did Farming Simulator, and we opened up the Farming Simulator, the Game Wisp subscribers Farming Simulator server that we normally have on Fridays. We opened that up to the general public and people were allowed to come in and, and have a go, so that was pretty cool. Had a few people there. And we were actually on the production map making a whole heap of different things. Uh, we had, uh, what we were making pallets, we were doing I think they were raspberries. I don't know, some kind of berries. They looked like raspberries to me that we were uh, putting into containers. So that was pretty cool. And that whole production map, we're going to be doing this whole month. It is really, really cool. Because you can uh, you can make beer on there, you make pallets for the beer, and and then you make pallets for the strawberries, and you know all sorts of stuff. It's really cool. So you need trees and everything. What are all these idiots doing? Oh, somebody's wreck truck there. No oh dear. So you know there's a heap of uh, heap of things you can do in, in that production map on Farming Simulator. And did you guys see the Big Bud, the review I did on the Big Bud pack? Uh, another DLC for Farming Simulator. Uh, that's a really good addition to Farming Simulator. Uh, it does have, it will take a little bit to get used to because it is a little bit tricky to drive around the streets as I said in the video. Problem, big problem that I did have was the AI just doesn't know what to do with those large amount of wheels. When you have the, the triple wheels on each side, the AI doesn't know what to do and it, it did actually get stuck in a lot of places. I got stuck on trees, I got stuck under cars, um, all sorts of things. 
So it doesn't work very well on, it works okay on small fields, but the AI still has a lot of problems with the, tr the tractor and the, the plows and the uh, cultivators and that with the larger equipment on the actual small fields. So I suggest not to use it on the small fields. There, for that, to get the most out of the big bud, you really need to have the biggest possible fields that you can possibly find. Uh, and that would just work really good on it. So uh, that is... That's like, you know, a really interesting DLC that is to, to check out. And if you haven't checked out that video yet, I suggest you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel and check it out, guys. Uh, I really did have a lot of fun you, um, making that video and playing with that DLC, so it's really good. Now, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, something else that I need to tell you as well, guys, is that... Uh, tomorrow we will be doing two streams not just one but two now the first one is going to be Grand Theft Auto and that is a super chat request for Blue Man so uh, so yeah that one we'll be getting right into straight away and then after that we're going to be having a another stream but this will be a special stream We've actually got a special guest that uh, we'll be we'll be talking to and discussing a whole heap of different things, and it's going to be interesting. I don't want to give too much away, but it's a very very exclusive um, sort of yeah. It's it's something exclusive that we're going to be having, and I'm sure that you're really going to enjoy what we've got installed. So. Um, so yeah guys, it will be a second stream tomorrow and that will be about 11 o'clock. So the first one will be uh, starting at about 8.45 when we normally start and we're going to be doing Grand Theft Auto with, um, let me just shift up to high here, fifth high, no, no, let's see, five low. So we're going to be doing Grand Theft Auto, and Blue Man wants to do heists. So we're going to be doing starting from scratch with the heist there, starting with the very first heist, which is a two-man one, and we'll see where we go from that. We might be able to do another one, but we just have to wait and see. So two streams tomorrow, guys. You're going to be loving it. And I'm going to do a mod review as well, so wow. That is a lot of content tomorrow. So it's you guys are going to be busy watching a whole heap of stuff. Wow, look at these views. That is great. Trying to keep the truck and trailer in the lines here. <laughs> I can understand why this part here is, uh, you know, a low speed. But come on, as we're coming down here, we can go a bit faster. Whoops. I pushed the horn instead of the, uh... There's the horn jump on the outside here you'll be able to hear the horn it says bloody speed bump El Rosario El Rosario and we still got to go through more windy bends wow little bit tricky around here gotta make sure that trailer is uh, not in the other lane there because we will take people out 34 through here oh that's a nice chopper over there nice bike
Mexico, I reckon, would be a real interesting place to go and visit. Probably there'd be some sections there that, that would be really scary, but I suppose that'd be... It's just like America. See, over here, it's not too bad. There's a couple of places, one or two places, which are, you know, a bit scary. But really... If you're passing through, it's no major big deal. They're not gonna carjack you or something, anything like that. They just just don't hang out where they hang out. That's it. All right, look at all these wines and bends that we're gonna go through here. This is uh, definitely a very good map and I know Coast to Coast has a lot more content but this has the, I'd have to say, the best views, you know, coming through all these areas here. Oh, there was one thing that I forgot to mention about that uh, heavy cargo pack, and that was the the wheels. The you get some new things on the wheels as well. So they're actually hooked to the drive shaft, I've been told, and they help with, uh, I believe, if I understood it correctly, uh, lower down, uh, lower down revs. They help with. So. be honest I really need to do more research on those parts because I've never I don't believe I've actually seen those on trucks before but uh, I probably have but never noticed it so um, some people did tell me that they were actually um, they they were weights and that's why I thought they were weights but uh, I have had other people tell me that they are um, the centre bits are hooked to the, the actual drive shaft, so they actually give better torque. I believe, I could be wrong ex exactly, but uh, that's what I was told. I, I need to look into it more, exactly what it is, because unless it's been, uh, see it hasn't been put in the game before, so I've never really noticed it on trucks. So. This is just cruising around so easy, isn't it? This truck, so nice to drive. But um, yeah, guys, this is a paid mod, all right? So uh, again, I don't wanna see in the description how immoral it is about you know that buying the truck that's you know worth more than the game and that my soul will go to hell or whatever you know because of buying this truck or whatever well this copy that I've got is as I said was a uh, review copy that was you know for people to review so it's not exactly the same as what you get in the actual game so well, not exactly the same as me sorry it's uh you you probably get better bits and you probably get all the everything's done properly <laughs> and you get the updates and that so oh come on let's go a bit faster along here this is uh this is Maida. getting a bit dark is that a dead person on the road that we're running over or is that rubbish I never actually thought about it I just run over it thinking it was rubbish but it could possibly be a dead person we just run over it more a dead animal 
Ooh, that's that's scary. See, that looks really good from this view here, doesn't it? You get those. See, there's blocks of wood on the back there, and a, uh, a street cone. Yeah, we did some Elite Dangerous in the live stream, the 12 hour live stream, and unfortunately I couldn't get the blasted thing to work for me properly, which is a real pain in the bum. It was just, it was playing up, it wouldn't let me register, it wouldn't let me register my copy of, um, of the, you know, the, the, the DLC which was a pain in the ass so I couldn't do the bits that we wanted to do I thought I'd already done that didn't realize I had to go in and do all that other stuff but anyway um, we'll have to get more in to do some more of that space trucking because it's uh, really cool that game these wipers aren't working that's a shame Interesting. That's a bugger. Uh, I hope that's just in my copy that it does that. Let's see, whereabouts are we on the map? Oh, we're just down the road, so we're not far. It's just a pain in the bum going so slow. Because this truck really does pick up the speed. It's got a lot of lot of get up and go. Now guys, um, yeah, the link for all mods that we're using today will be in the description. Um, I'm not giving you a free copy of this truck, okay, so don't ask. I mean if you want if you want the truck then you'll have to go to the actual link in the description and you'll have to pay for this truck, so let's see how fast we can go. Don't worry about the speed limit. Come on, baby. Up the hill, too. It's getting there. It's, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's up to 70 miles per hour, so it's, and I still got another couple of gears to go. On this dark desert highway, nobody around. 74, and that's it, I'm going to have to wind it down now. There we go. Well, we got up to 74, so that was pretty cool. Then we got a whole heap of windy roads. Is this what the deserts really look like in Mexico? I wonder. Look at all the cactus. There's a lot of cactus out here. Is is Mexico really like that? With the out in the where there's no towns. There's 
tumbleweeds. That's dead body on the ground again. And there's our destination just up ahead. So, what a good drive. This is really good, this truck. Few little bits and pieces that need to be fixed on it, but that's. There's a lady walking out in the middle of nowhere. That's weird. Um, few little things that uh, you know need to be fixed but again as I said in the mod review this is just a copy for me to review the paid one is different so I don't know why but anyway it should be the same right here we go coming into town and there's a heap of traffic Punta Prieta, Pre Pre Prieta, Prieta, don't know, something like that, oh yeah, everyone turn off, that's good, thank you, go away, oh here we are, Put the Perita just discovered. Awesome. Service station up there. And here we have a quarry. Turn off those lights, the high beams. Now, can I get this around without causing any problems? No, nah, it's going to cause problems. It's hooked, is it? It's too low or... It's hooked on there. That's a real pain, that section. There's an invisible wall there too, if you haven't didn't notice that. All right, let's bring this out wide. Try this again. Doesn't help that I got a long chassis. <laughs> there we go, that's better. That was a really good drive. I enjoyed that drive a lot. And there we go. We'll just spin it around here. And up here. And we'll just reverse it back. Hopefully we can just reverse it back. Without too many issues. And I'm hoping this goes straight in because it's pretty simple, this area. It's just getting in here is a little bit tricky. I actually should be back in the cab. Uh. 
Where is it? I've gone too far. Do you guys find that when you're actually going back here on the outside view and then you switch to the inside view of the truck, it's a little bit sort of confusing? Can be a little bit confusing. I end up going, you know, way out of where I'm supposed to be going. There we go. Drop that trailer down. And there we go. Yeehaw. And there we go. That is that was very easy. Uh, it's just the most the biggest problem with that was the speed limit coming through that uh, Mexico area. I think that's uh, slow enough speed so that the Mexicans can jump on the back and get a free ride. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But there we go, guys. That is this week's weekly drive. I hope you enjoyed it. It was the... Uh, well, let's back up so we can um, put it in the light so we can see. There we go. You can see the truck a bit better now. But there we go. There is the Kenworth Needle Nose. Uh, link is in the description and yes, it is a paid mod guys uh, about 25. I think it was us about that. So um, Yeah, look don't want to hear about it if you're not interested and you think it's immoral and my soul's gonna burn in hell or whatever um, You know if you put any comments like that in there guys I'm just gonna delete it because really nobody wants to know about that the idea of, of junior senior gaming is to review as many mods as we can. Good, bad, doesn't matter. We take it as it is. Paid mod, unpaid mod, doesn't matter. But we've got plenty of other uh, mods on here that aren't paid mods. So if you're not interested in paying for it, just go check out one of them. It's pretty simple. But that is it for me today, guys. Look, if you like this video and... Uh, you, yeah, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. Uh, because we know it likes it and also that gives me a whole lot of other information as well about uh, what you like and don't like and that sort of thing so um, it helps me to make better videos for you guys it really does and um, if you want to if it's the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out and while you're there uh, why don't you hit that subscribe button as well that uh, also helps us out in so many different ways but until next time, guys, look, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.